Uh, my name is Nick Turner, and I work with Ekahau, and I'd like to spend the next nine minutes and 50 seconds talking with you about custom report templates that we can build within Ekahau. Uh, this is a topic that I personally enjoy because I've been able to leverage the report builder to save me time. And I'm not going to try and teach you how to use it, but I just want to show you a few examples of the things that you can achieve using the report generator and encourage you to dive in there and play with it and you know, try your own. And when it doesn't work, then try and work out why that wasn't working. You have to put some time in up front, but it saved me hours, days, if not weeks of my life in report generation. So let me introduce my test project for you. This is um, a warehouse. It's a simulated project. Uh, it's for a company called Pair. And they've, um, this is the, one of their distribution warehouses. You can see it's a simulated project. We've got some walls. And um, we also have a coverage area defined over here. And each of these APs, I've given them a name. They're simulated APs. I've also been to site. And I took pictures of where I want these APs to be installed. These are simulated APs. So they do have a height. They do have a, an angle of tilt, depending on if it's a directional antenna. So AP3 is a directional AP. That one's actually on the ceiling pointing directly down. And we also have a couple of 3700s here in the office area, so AP6 and AP7. OK, so just introduce the project. And we're familiar with, we go to reporting, one-click reporting. We pick and choose the chapters for a nice, easy experience of generating a report. And that produces <coughs> something that looks like this. So, and we are familiar with the layout of the one-click report, yeah? All of the views that we can get inside Ekahau in the order that we select, in the order that the one click report generator offers us. And if you go into the documents folder in your machine and you go to Ekahau site survey report templates, you also will there see a collection of sample custom report documents. The one I want to bring your attention to right now is the sample one click dash en, which is essentially the source file of the one click report except that now you can get in there and start changing the order in which those things are presented. Now, this is essentially a script that we're writing. I recommend the WLAN Pros conference, uh, WLAN Pros podcast, the interview with Blake. Blake does a good, good job of introducing this. But you've got to play with it. Uh, and, it and it won't always work, OK? Because you've got the syntax here is JSON. And you can use the Ekahau support website to find out about the tags and how we use them. But what I like about this is that I can come in here and I can start changing these values. So this is the sample one-click-en document, which is essentially the source file of the one-click report that we use inside Ekahau. So I've modified this document slightly. And I just hop back to my welcome page. I'll, this one will be shared. Uh, I'll share the slides with you. But bit.do slash Ekahau custom report templates is a Google Drive folder where my latest and greatest reports are stored. Feel free to grab them. There are also many of them are on the Ekahau support web page as well. So this one, for example, <coughs> this one here has been mod modified slightly. So like, we're, this is where we have an interplay of Word and the report generator. So I've set the tags in particular styles. That means that we can generate a table of contents. OK, so this is one step towards the goal of getting a report that I can hand to the customer at the end of the project. <coughs> this custom report template is rotated landscape. We're going to have a table of contents. Then I'm going to show a signal strength overview in the 2.4 gig band. And there are the tags to generate that view. 5 gig overview. And then per AP, because over here I have a loop start type APs, per AP, I want to see this information. We're going to stick the AP image 
then a map showing me the AP location. The, those values, my virtual APs have a height, they have an angle of tilt, they have a transmit power. Every value inside ESS I can pull out using report templates. So this one I'm gonna go into run live. So we'll go template reporting, generate report, and then we'll grab that one <coughs> from the desktop. Drum roll. And <clears throat> it's this idea that you can pull out pretty much any value from your Echo project and put it into a report if you play with it for long enough and get it working, okay? So naturally, these, uh, this report, I have my images in portrait. Now my table of contents, I have to right click and update that, but because of the styles applied to those bits of text, we get my table of contents, overview of the 2.4 gig band, overview of the 5 gig band, and then per AP, my image, my map, the stats for my simulated AP. This wouldn't work so well in a survey project. I'd need to include those details in the notes field, but these are virtual APs, so these values exist. And then at the bottom, my notes for each, for each AP. There are some limitations. Sure, if I took my pictures in landscape, then this template won't work so well. But then I would need to reformat my report template. Okay. Uh, just uh, side yeah. while you're in the middle of this, how long did it take you to develop this one template? This one template? Maybe an hour of fighting with it. Yeah. Not, not, not enormous investment of time. So the next one. Next one's a blank document. Inside Ekahal, when you find a view that, you're out, that you like, for example, we switch off the walls, I switch off the APs, and I'll switch off the areas. Report, template report, copy current visualization template tag to clipboard. I can hop into Word, paste, and there are the tags that make up that view. And then this is the important thing, not all of those tags are necessary. They are the tags that make up specifically this view, but I can remove quite a lot of these. I can remove the adapter. I can remove the contour line specification. You can strip these right down to the very bare minimum, and when you do that, then the visualization will use whatever the project is set up for. So if you, if you do that method where you generate the tags from the report, that will produce the view as you see it in that project file. But if you want it to be flexible, then strip them down. And there is a stripped down version of the, these tag sets in that folder that I will share with you. <clears throat> Another example, coverage per AP. I had a scenario where a customer wanted to see, for whatever reason, the coverage per AP. You can do that automatically using report templates rather than generate it now. I'll just show you what that one came out looking like. So we have the front cover, table of contents, which again, we would need to update. But overview of the 2.4, overview of the five, sorry, overview 2.4, five, and then per AP, here's AP one. Here's AP one on the five gig band. Then here's AP two on the 2.4 gig band, AP2 on the 5 gig. Now, I, I joked about this, but then I was speaking to somebody recently, and they said, well, actually, for a survey, this would be very useful to find out whether there are any connection problems in, in your warehouse. Okay, I've got 45 seconds, so my, we're coming up towards the end of things here. Thresholds. In this report document, I want to show the threshold for my visualization as text. We will go reporting, template report, generate this one. And if we grab thresholds here,
this one here. And it was just to give you this idea that if you want to add that kind of detail to your reports, then you could. You just need to look at the support page, find out what those tags are, and work out where you need to put it in. So this document is grabbing the threshold for this particular criteria, uh, the coverage profile, and adding this in here. So there are, there are more project, there are more uh, report templates in this folder. So pop over to that one. Uh, thank you very much for your attention, but it's a bit to do. I will share the slides with, with Matthew. Thank you very much, Nick. Yes. Okay, thank you. Adam, sound up.